Hey folks, how's it going? More than a year ago, I made a short video about historical flags of Mongolia. And so looking at these huge views by the standards of my channel, I decided to continue with this flag's theme after all. While quite a few of my viewers are citizens of the star-spangled country on the other side of the ocean, why not make a video about one of the major national symbols of the USA? For example, did you know that the current flag of America was created by a 17-year-old? That's right, Robert G. Heft is the author of the current 50-star flag of the United States. He was a junior at Lancaster High School in Ohio when he created the flag as a school project in 1958. It consisted of 13 stripes and 50 stars, with each star representing one of the states of the Union. Heft's design was chosen to replace the previous flag shortly after it was submitted to Congress. He also made an American flag with 51 stars in case Washington, D.C. or Puerto Rico became a new state. Heft died in 2009 at the age of 67. Now, let let me tell you a little about the symbolism of the flag. Firstly, there are always red stripes. There were 13 of them on all 27 versions of the U.S. flag. As it's easy to guess, the stripes designate colonies that gained independent from the British Empire, creating the United States. The number of stars is equal to the number of states. The stars on the flag are a visual representation of the expansion of the USA, with each star signifying the addition of a new state to the country. Together, the stars and stripes on the American flag symbolize the unity, history, and growth of the United States of America. And secondly, the colors of the flag also have symbolic meaning. Red stands for hardiness and valor. White symbolizes purity and innocence, and blue represents vigilance, perseverance, and justice. It wouldn't surprise anyone if I said that the U.S. flag has been on the moon, but what if I told you that the flag of the USA has been there more than once? There are several flags that have been planted on the moon by Apollo astronauts. In each of the six missions, Apollo 11, 12, 14, 15, 16, and 17, astronauts planted an American flag on the lunar surface. The first flag was deployed by Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin during the Apollo 11 mission in 1969, and the last one was planted by the Apollo 17 mission in 1972. Unfortunately, over the years, the flags have been exposed to the harsh environment of the moon, including extreme temperatures and sunlight, which has likely caused them to bleach and deteriorate. But hey, at least they have been to outer space. Unlike you. Have you ever wondered who created America's first flag? If not, that's okay, as you won't find the exact answer anyway. The first flag, resembling the modern stars and stripes, was an unofficial flag called the Grand Union Flag, or the Continental Colors, which consisted of 13 red and white stripes with the British Jack in the upper left-hand corner. It first appeared on December 3, 1775, when Continental Navy Lieutenant John Paul Jones flew it aboard Captain Isaac Hopkins' flagship, Alfred, in the Delaware River. It remained the national flag until June 14, 1777, when the Continental Congress passed an act establishing an official flag for the new nation. The resolution stated, Resolved that the flag of the United States be 13 stripes, alternate red and white, that the Union be 13 stars, white in a blue field representing a new constellation. Although it is unclear who designed the first American flag, some historians believe it was designed by New Jersey Congressman Francis Hopkinson and sewn by Philadelphia seamstress Betsy Ross. However, there is no credible evidence to support the claim that Betsy Ross made the first flag of America or helped design it. That, my friends, is the end of my video. I hope you have learned something new for yourselves. If so, let me know about it by giving a like and maybe even leaving a comment down below. Thanks for watching. Bye.